It's funny how things can turn around in the world of football. After our losses against PSG and Man City, we were seven points off the pace in the league. But now, a win in today's game against Cardiff City, we're one point off the top. It's a funny old game, football. But we've got Cardiff City and we have Spartak Moscow in the Champions League. I think a win against Spartak Moscow will also secure our Champions League round of 16 place. It's a funny game. What is happening guys? My name is Adam, I am a Super Swan and welcome to episode 74 of the Saving Swan series. And look at those tables my friends, after the last episode's meltdown, we thought the season was over, we were going to get nowhere in the league, we were like 8th place in the league. We are now in 4th place with a game in hand and a win in today's episode against Cardiff, we'll be on 21 points, a point behind the Manchester teams. We've also got Spartak Moscow where we beat them. We're pretty much through in the Champions League. And then it's a fight for top place position against PSG. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a bit hard. They've got a good goal difference lead against us. We have to beat them at the Liberty. It's going to be tough, but at least I think we will get through to the round of 16. Looking at the schedule, since you're last with us, those are the four games we played off screen. 3 0 win against Crystal Palace, which in fact let me hover over that game. Girogori got himself two goals. He's back from injury. He's fired in the goals. Yomar got himself the third. 1 0 winning against Spartak Moscow in the away leg of the group stage. Breen and Bolo scored at half time on the 45th minute mark. Not the most exciting game, but we did get the result we needed. A 2 0 win against West Ham. Away from home again. Yomar and Zachary Paul with the goals. Zachary Paul seems to be popping up quite often with these long shots from distance. And then a 3-1 win in the Carabao Cup. A very much rotated team. Aradori, good first goal for him. Diego and Girigori with the goals there. So today's episode, it's Cardiff at home. The South Wales derby. And Spartak Moscow also at home in the Champions League. So we don't have to travel very far today. As far as the lineup goes for the Cardiff game, we've got Milagres in goal, Trent, Boning, Arthur and Nart at the back, pretty much the first choice defence and goalkeeper. Diego, Zachary Paul, De Luca in the middle, Correa is the advanced playmaker, Yomar and Girigori is going to start up front for us today. United beat Man City 3-0 earlier, which certainly helped us in the league. I would rather have a draw, but that's the way things go. We'll challenge them to prove a point in the South Wales derby. I will get the game underway. Cardiff against Swansea. The old South Wales rivalry. I think we, we did do the double over them last season. We are the far better team. But Cardiff are doing well in the league this year. I mean, they're, they're in sixth place themselves. So they've got, you know, momentum on their side. But not wins the ball. Correa tries a ball to Yomar. Yomar's on the wrong end of the pitch, but he does work his way into the middle. Runs past most of the team unchallenged. Trent, he's got space, crosses it in. Girigori off the top of the crossbar. Six minutes in, we almost grab the first goal. But Zachary Paul has picked up an injury. That's going to be an important uh, an important loss. So we'll move Diego into ball with him in midfield. We'll bring Marco Rog on to fill that Mazella role. This is it. See, we've got so many good midfielders. We can, and they can all play in each other's positions. So we can move about people. It's not the end of the world. And we're all over Cardiff. Look, 65% possession. Seven shots, five on target. One woodwork, one clear-cut chance. We've got to turn this possession, turn this dominance into goals. Come on, boys. I have a funny feeling, though, the way it's going. There's been no highlights to speak of. I think I need to inject some passion into this team. It's the South Wales Derby, boys. You know, Swansea and Cardiff. This is like the game on the calendar for us. But Correa to Trent to De Luca. Finds Diego. Some nice little pass in here. Back to Trent. Correa. Oh, little back heel. De Luca. 19 long shots. 19 long shots. 
He's only scored one goal a season for us, Deluca. He's meant to be our best player. Correa. Outside the box. Has some space. It's a save. And we're going to go into half time. Nil, nil. We've had all the possession. All the shots. Girogori's not having the best of games. He's on a 6.5. So I think I need to inject some passion into this team. Passionate. Uh, no, I'm going to go an aggressive. I am not happy with your performance out there. The players are fired up. We'll give them the 15 minutes mark. We're going to go attacking. We're going to try and force the game to Cardiff. Show some passion. Come on, boys. Come on. We can do it. And an hour in. Nothing's changing. Let's make some personnel changes. So we're going to bring off Chirigori. We'll bring on Imbolo for him. And we'll, we've got, we've already made two subs. So we'll give it, we'll give it a some time. But not for the throw in. Finds Yomar. It's a poor cross. Cardiff do win the ball back. DeLuca's probably going to pick that up, but he does. Finds Correa in the middle. To Diego. Finds Imbolo. And there's the opening. Breel Imbolo off the bench. He's been sitting on the bench. He's been eager to get on. He's been listening to my team talks. And he comes on to make the difference. De Luca finds Correa. It's a nice little... Th well, Diego gets the ball. Through ball to Imbolo. And it's a tidy shot into the corner of the net. 1-0. It's been coming for a long time. Even if it's... I'll take a win at this point. Even if it's 1-0. We've been all over and we should have done better. We're going to encourage the team a bit. Grab a second goal. Confirm the result. But Yomar tries to flick it in. But Boning's going to pick that up. Finds De Luca. Trent's got some space to run into, but he chooses to cross it. Diego to Arthur to Rog. Some nice little short pass in here. Not. And tries to flick it into Correa, but doesn't do very well. And Cardiff do win the ball back. But Marco Rog wins the ball back. Yomar. Can he find Mbolo? He does. Mbolo! That's unlucky from Breen Mbolo. We'll have a look. 84 minutes in. We'll make one last sub. Who do we want to bring on here? Who's looking especially tired? Trent's looking a bit tired. And he's on a yellow card. We'll bring on Shelby Johnson for him. And that should be pretty much game. Yomar crosses it in. Correa picks it up. Low cross to Mbolo. Unlucky. To be fair, we've been at 11 shots, one clear-cut chance. We should have done a lot better in this game, I feel. I mean, the game's not over yet. Cardiff can still have their one and only shot and score from it, so let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But not. Oh, unlucky. It's a pretty long highlight. De Novo, Anderson. I've been scouting him. Haas for Cardiff. Oh, it's over the bar. Got a bit nervous there for a second, I'm not going to lie. Manquilo, it's a throw in to Cardiff. They still haven't had a shot on target. But Yomar, counter-attacking football. It's a good ball to Mbolo. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Mbolo, he should have scored a hat-trick on his own since he's come on. But, to be fair, I think we're going to come away with a win here. I'll take a 1-0 win over our rivals. And there's the final whistle. We do get the win. I'm going to say it was a disappointing performance. Because to be fair, we should have hammered them 3-4-0. The shots we had, we just didn't put away. Zachary Paul's out for five to six weeks. He's going to be out for a while. Zach Marco Rogg's only out for two days. So that's that's okay. That's not too bad. Nathan Evans eh, didn't get a goal in this game. But he's got eight goals so far this season. We're going to be keeping an eye on him. And Fabio De Luca scouted by Barcelona. Bojan is their chief scout. Oh, I think it's his dad. I was thinking then. I was like, what? Bojan's a scout? He's only like 30. But that is the first game, guys. We look at the league table. And there are points behind Man City and Man United. So we're recovering in the league. Not all is lost yet. But we're now going to go to the Spartak Moscow game. And see if we can qualify from our group. The lineup for the Spartak Moscow game is as follows. 
Timo Horn in goal, our cup goalkeeper. Shelby Johnson comes in for Trent. Boning, Arthur and Nart at the back. Marco Rog, Diego and Pineda in the middle. Almiron comes in to be the advanced playmaker. And Aradori and Imbolo are going to be up front. I think this might be Aradori's on-screen debut. I can't remember playing him, but if we have, we have. If we haven't, it's his debut. So Aradori, the target man, the Yomar backup. Let's see what he's all about. He's scored a couple of goals this season so far. So he's not been too bad. So hopefully he will show you his promise in today's episode. So we'll get the game underway. A win will probably put us through. I've done the maths. I think we will go through if we do win. But Aradori on the ball. Finds Mbolo. It's a ball to Armiron. Can he play him at the in? He finds Marco Rog on his own. And Marco Rog gets the goal two minutes in. And that could be the goal that sends us into the round of 16 of the Champions League. It's a good counter-attack. Armiron picks up the ball. He finds Marco Rog. He could have passed it. But he has the confidence to take it on himself. Blasts it in the corner. Job done. Let's wrap the game up. We don't need to watch the rest of the game. Uh, if only football was that simple. Golden goal. First goal wins every single game. Aradori. Can we grab ourselves a second though? Diego. In the new ball winning midfield position. As Zachary Paul's going to be out for about six weeks. Diego. Finds Almiron. To Pineda. Can he do anything from there? He's got a lot of space. And he decides to waste it. Pineda did come to me moaning about first team football. I told him to shut up and think about the dressing room atmosphere. He seems to have gotten over it now. I mean, he's a new signing. He can't just expect to walk into the team and be a first player, first team player every single game. You know, we have like six really good midfielders. I mean, there's a few players like um, Lorente who doesn't really get games anymore because our midfield is so stacked. I just can't get him into the team. But Ramiro on the ball now of Spartak Moscow. The game's not finished yet. Oof, it's over the bar. We don't want to be talking about potential round of 16 or anything. But it does look like the way he's carrying on. We should be good to go. But it'll be interested to see how PSG are getting on against PSV. Because if they drop points to PSV, we could possibly win the group. But goal kick. Spartak Moscow seem to be coming at us. Fing Borgeson. But Diego does tackle. Nart boots it upfield. Can we start our own counter attack? Mbolo doesn't get the ball. Looks like he was out muscled by the centre backs. Goal kick now. Finn Borgeson. Marco Rog intercept. Can we do another counter attack? Aradori holds the ball up well. Pineda to Diego. The two new signings linking up. Johnson's not making the run. Diego, I think, is waiting for him. He's waiting for a lot, but he does finally pass it to Shelby Johnson. Pineda to Almiron. It's a long highlight. Diego, lovely ball over the top. And Mbolo gets himself a goal. Two in two for Breel Mbolo. There's some fantastic passing going on there. Shelby Johnson finds Pineda. Almiron to Diego. Diego with a lovely looping ball over to Mbolo. And Mbolo lets it bounce. And on the half volley, smashes it in the corner. 2-0. And Luke Nart looks to have picked up a knock. But he seems to be okay. He hasn't got that little orange injured sign. So I think we should be okay with Luke Nart. Or Loike Nart, I should say. Luke Nart is his British name. You know, for people who can't pronounce Loike, it's, it's Luke. It could be Luke. It could be pronounced Luke. I don't know. I'm not very good at uh, pronouncing of names. This is why we re -nick this is why we nicknamed Diego because it was in Carnacow. But his name's Diego. Diego's still on the ball. Shelby Johnson to Pineda. Oh, Amiron does lose the ball and Spartak Moscow. Are they gonna come at us just before half time? Nope. Leuknart says no to that. Aradori on goal. Pass it to Mbolo. And it's 3-0. Aradori with the assist. Job done. 3-0. I, I, I think it would be, to be honest with you. But this is Football Manager. You never know. We have had a 7-5 in this series. So you never know. 
But Ebolo does get his second of the game. 3 0. And we've got to hope now that PSV do us a favour against PSG. So that in the game against PSG, we have a chance to top the group. And that'll certainly make it easier for us to, to qualify for the next round. We want to make some subs. Do we need to bring anybody off? Anybody looking particularly tired? And we'll bring Nart off for Trent. And we'll swap them over. Because Johnson, I am training to be a left back. Just as coverage more than anything. And we'll get the second half underway. And PSV are beating PSG. 1-0. The way things stand. Which means that in our game against PSG. It's the winner tops the group. If we draw. Oh, the goal difference is the same as well. Oh guys. This could be it. This could be it. Would you hope the PSV hang on? So a win, oh, no, it won't qualify us because there's two games to go. Oh, it's all it's all kicking off. But Aradori finds Marco wrong from distance. It's over the bar. So come on, PSV, hold on against PSG. That'll do us a massive favour. Rog gets Shelby Johnson to Armiron. Aradori, can he cross it? He can to Breel Mbolo. Over the bar from Mbolo. He's on a hat-trick. Oh, and... Oh, PSG have equalised. It's one all in their game. But that's fine. Even if they draw, that's good news for us. We'll bring Girigori on for... Oh, no. We won't bring him on for Aradori. We'll bring Yomar on for Aradori. Actually, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let Aradori play the rest of the game. Because he doesn't get as much game time as I want him to. Uh, Marco Rog come off. We'll bring on Correa. And if we do a little bit of swapping around. Yeah, that'll do. We'll move Pineda to Mazzella. Uh, Fabio De Luca was injured. Blisters. Couldn't play. So that's why he's not playing today. So we'll bring Correa on for Marco Rog. Ramiro for Spartak Mosso. Come on, PSV. Hold on. Hold on for a draw. Because at least then, when we play them at the Liberty, if we win, we'll top the group. As long as we beat PSV, of course. Nothing's taken for granted at all. Oh, and Lozano does score for Spartak Moscow. They do get a goal back. We don't want to get complacent. But Martinez finds Guillaume. I'm, I'm sure that's not how you say his name. Martinez then wins the ball back. Low cross. Oh, it's a good goal. Top of the net for Lozano. Is the comeback on? First shot on target of Spartak Moscow, I might add. Diego, it's a poor ball to Moses. Long ball. Lozano's chasing it. Surely not. <sighs> Guys, tighten up. Um, where's tighten up? There. 85 minutes. We'll, we'll have a look. See if anybody else is looking a bit tired. Amiron is looking tired. We'll bring on we'll bring on Yomar there. And we'll move. We'll swap them two round. Yeah, we'll swap them two round. And Bolo can play attacking midfield is fine. Apparently Almiron is a midfield entertainer. Not a footballer, an entertainer. But 94 minutes. Spartak Moscow cross it in. And we do clear the ball. It's full time. We do win 3-1. We'll pre-appreciate their efforts. Well done, boys. And did PSV draw against PSG? They did. It was one all in that game. So if we go through the news first. Nathan Evans. Did he score? No, but he got an assist. Well, well done, Nathan Evans. We do qualify for the first knockout round. 3-1 win. We hammer them. I'm going to praise Mbolo. You were good in front of goal last time out. And Paraguay goes boss. Michalais Leguzamon, it sounds like a Pokemon, uh, was watching Almiron, which is fair enough. But we look at the competitions page, and there we go, guys. That means that, as long as we beat PSV, we have a chance of going up against PSG and beating them and going top of the group. It's possible. We have qualified for the round of 16, so we don't have to worry about not qualifying, but we have a chance of getting top of the group. So long as other results go our way. So as far as next episode, 
We'll come back for the Spurs game and the PSG game. Two very important games. Spurs... I try to catch my breath here. Spurs are top of the league as well. They're on the same points as the two Manchester clubs. So that'll be a very good game for us at home if we can try and prove we are title challengers. And then there's PSG in the Champions League. A win will potentially get us top of the group. And theoretically, an easier draw in the round of 16. Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2018 content. As always, we upload Saving Swans every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 4pm GMT. And hopefully I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.